Okay, first grade. We are going to continue with our leaf imprints in the Plaster Paris project today. We're going to be doing the next step. Um, today, when you get your leaves back, you'll notice the plaster is very hard. The first thing that you're going to do is write your name and your code on the plaster using a Sharpie marker. If there's tape, you can remove the tape, put it to the side for garbage. So you'll be writing your name and your code, whatever your code may be. Then you're going to flip your plaster over. You'll see your leaf and the wax paper. You're going to remove the wax paper very, very carefully so that the leaf does not come off. We wanna keep the leaf on the plaster right now. The leaves should stay there. If they're kind of wiggling and, and acting like they wanna pop off of there, just kind of put it back into place. Take the wax paper, put it to the side. You can also take your manila paper, put that to the side for garbage as well. Then you're going to be using the paint that I put on your tables, on the trays, with the sponges. I know the sponges look like leaves, but that's just a coincidence. We're gonna be doing a sponge painting technique for the background area around the leaf. Notice my leaf is still on there, keep it there. It's going to be used sort of as a little stencil for our painting today. Taking your leaf sponge, you're gonna dab the sponge into the paint on your tray. Then you're going to dab the paint onto your plaster. Filling in the entire background area of your plaster around your leaf. Notice how I'm going right up to the edge of the leaf, but not covering over the leaf. I do not wanna go over the entire leaf, because if I go over the entire leaf, I won't know where the leaf is, and I have to remove it at the end of this part of the project. So we're going to carefully dab. You'll have newsprint paper underneath to protect the table. Also take notice, boys and girls, I'm doing an up and down, up and down dabbing. I'm not swiping, I'm not swirling. I wanna to try to get those different colors showing up there. And to do that, we have to dab. This is the sponge painting technique. Get the edges really good of your plaster. Yes, your fingers might get a little bit messy, but again, we'll wash them up at the end of class when we're finished. So dab the entire area. When you're done, put the sponge back on the tray, not the table, on the tray. And then carefully, we're going to remove the leaf from the plaster, just bend it a teeny tiny bit, popping it up or grabbing the stem and remove the leaf. Some of the leaves are gonna come off easier, some are gonna come off a little higher, harder. I'll help you with those that are a little tricky. I'll come around and, and give you a little hand with that. If you have a little tiny piece on there, just kind of pull it. If you have a stem, you can remove that as well. Put the leaf with your garbage, that will get thrown in the garbage can and you will notice the beautiful texture inside of that plaster, all those little tiny lines of the veins that have now been pressed into the plaster. Try not to get this area of your leaf messy with your fingers. I know it could be a little bit tricky, but we wanna watercolor paint that next time, so do not get that uh, too messy with your fingers. We're gonna put these on the shelves to dry, and then the next class will be watercolor painting the inside of the leaf. I will let you know which sink you're gonna to go to to wash your hands as soon as you bring your leaves over to me and we put them on the shelves. And that wraps up this part of the project.